All right, so now you're ready to add music to the background of your podcast. Start by clicking on that loops area in the menu bar. You can listen to some, but now this goes on forever and ever. So you're going to want to narrow it down, maybe by genre, categories, or maybe you want to see it described as something, a distorted sound, but maybe you want to clear it, so I'm going to hit reset and get rid of that. Maybe in an ensemble, I hit it again, narrow it down even more, maybe more melody. Let's see what this one is. So this one's got a lot of drama to it. Maybe you've got something amazing going on. Or maybe this is good for even a background. So if you like it, grab it and pull it over. Now it will throw itself right underneath your recording. Now what you're going to want to do is move it around. So you can click and move it like this. You can also take it and pull on it on the ends and it will shorten it. Now if it won't shorten any more for you, what you do is double tap and you can hit the trim button and it will make it shorter. You can also double tap on it and you can hit that split and you can use that scissors to split it. Click on one, double tap it, hit delete. So that's another way to do it. Now let's say you wanted it as sort of an intro. So I'm going to move it way over here and I'm going to move my recording. Now I want to make sure that I, if you split anything anywhere, you didn't actually take and pull it over. Now watch this. See what I did? I just pulled over that. I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to make sure that I don't have that happen. I don't want to pull over anything there. Okay, so now I've got sort of some time there in the beginning. Let's see what it sounds like. Nice intro, and here comes my voice. This is my invention called the clean machine. All right. So I'm loving that. Um, but I probably would want to consider extending this maybe through the background a little bit more. Maybe I want to take that and I want to make a, um, a loop of it. And what it did was it just took and doubled it for me so that it will continue on. The one thing I do need to be super careful about is that my voice is heard. That's the most important part, not the music you put in. It's what you say. This is my invention called the clean. Now, it's pretty good, but if I'm not sure, if I want to look way on the left-hand side there, there's these three little bars halfway down. If I pull them to the right, now this is where I can kind of mess with my volume. I can bring my volume down a little bit on that, bring this up if I need to. So you can bring it back here. So the volume isn't quite as loud here, but it makes sure that my voice this is, my invention is the most important the clean thing. Machine. Okay. The clean machine. So now, once you've got it the way you want it, you're going to hit the My Songs button in the upper left corner. This is how you basically save it. Okay, so from here, you've got to name it. This is how I'm going to know whose is whose. So tap on where it says My Song, exit out, and please put in your first and last name. So if your name is Billy Brown, and put in your class. So let's put 4D. All right, you're going to hit done. And from this point, you're going to email me.